I think my father asked me if I was humble um, because he he feels he felt that it was um, an extremely important trait and maybe one that I didn't always follow. Um, it could also have been to divert <clears throat> because he was very good of diverting the question on himself with others. Um, uh, but I, the message to me was that I need to continue working on being humble. And how am I continuing to work on being humble um, is uh, by being a better person, by listening well, listening to others, um, uh, counseling with others, calling friends, um, uh, being aware of what um, others are going through and putting myself in uh, other people's shoes um, and try to give back um, some of this, you know, incredible um, life that I've been able to live. I, you know, I'm, I am such a lucky person and I know that, um, but if I didn't give some of that me back, it would make my life less memorable, less, um, uh, Um, so it's important. It's 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 key for me to be able to open my heart, and um, you become more humble when you open your heart and you're close to those that are around you, and especially hospice patients and with those that are grieving. Um, I think letting down those barriers, allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Um, Listening to the stories, you know, that I am every woman, we would get together every um, week and hear the first 10 minutes of each story. And so we'd read the first 10 minutes of our story. And they were incredibly special moments because we were in a place, we were holding space for each other. Um, and that allowed us to be vulnerable, to take that step. Um, so from what I learned from the, this book project, which is incredibly special, um, because of the way in which it came about, it's not just the stories, but I believe everybody has a story. And in sharing these stories so honestly, that's where you find true healing and true love and compassion. And I, I started, I wrote an article for hospice saying that I learned through hospice, I learned to love a stranger. Quite honestly, with I Am Every Woman, I now believe that there are no strangers. None of us are strangers to each other. We're all connected because people with different backgrounds and so forth, if you're open to sharing who you are and the things that you've seen, it just allows for growth, personal growth in so many ways. So um, being humble is being able to share um, without an agenda, being able to listen without an agenda and being there for people.